going to try to put the radio with the video here. 1989 IHSA Southwestern High School 26 and 0 versus North Green Spartans. They were probably 22 and 3, maybe. 22 and 3. Or 4. Hadn't won a trophy yet. I do remember that. It's the second or third year I'd been there. Well, I quit three years ago to coach and then it, dad got the team two years before, uh, and then it was just second this is the second year Devino against Griggs gets it he's real quick and then I'm gonna start the audio here coming up real quick on another computer Back out top to Watson. A cutting pass inside to Greg. He drives and puts it in off the glass. Beautiful move by Todd Grigg. He's got 11. And it's 41-32. Southwestern back up by 9. Devineau with the ball for North Green. Into the corner for Roberts. Roberts working on Todd Koontz. As Southwestern stays in their man-to-man -man defense. Pass on the baseline to Barnard. He spins and hits from 12. Nice looking shot by Craig Barnard. 41 34. North Green pulls her within seven. Watson with the ball out front for Southwestern with seven minutes to go in the third quarter. A seven point lead for the Piasaw Birds. It's Coons with the ball now over to Watson. He's going to know he tried to think about shooting, then he faked it. Gets it back to Coons. North Green in a 2 3 zone defense right now. Daring Southwestern to hit from the outside, and Coons tries, but he can't get it. The rebound is taken by Craig Barnard of North Green. So Southwestern, which had some pretty good success in the first half, shooting from the outside, miss, missed on their first attempt, and we've got a foul called against Southwestern. It's going to go against Todd Grigg, team foul number one in this half for the Piasaw Birds. And the second personal foul against Todd Grigg. Chuck Powell, the only person for either team in foul trouble, he's got three. And he picked up two of them relatively quick in the first quarter. Devineau with the ball for North Green. He goes into Barner. He spins in the lane, puts up a shot, no good. Watson fighting for the rebound, and he gets it for Southwestern. Gets it over to Grigg. 6.20 to play in the third. Now it's Chuck Powell. Powell over to Watson outside. Again, North Green playing that 2-3 zone. A quick pass down on the baseline to Marshall. He spins, puts it up off the glass, no good. And Gerald Monroe gets the rebound for North Green. 6.03 to play in the third quarter. A seven-point Southwestern lead. Devineau out front with it for North Green. Goes inside to Barnard. Now back out to Devineau. Over to Hubbard on the wing. Steve Hubbard drives into the lane, puts a shot up off the glass and hits. Steve Hubbard's got six. It's 41-36 Southwestern by five. 5.40 to go in the third. And the North Green fans start to come to their feet. Coons with the ball over to Watson. Now back to Coons. He's behind the three-point line. Won't shoot it. Gives it back to Watson. Now Coons thinks about a shot. And he gives it up to Watson again. Over on the uh, right side, it goes to Powell. And Chuck Powell now gets it back out top to... Watson and Grigg with the ball turned and spun and lost it. Travel. It's picked up by Devino and he goes down and he hits the shot but it's taken away because right, Devino got called on a charge. And the Southwestern fans applaud their approval. We've had two call, or three there. And the North Green fans.
defense don't like it a bit. That's he, two fouls he on was Jason Devenoe. One of the couple of reps from down what south. What a big call that was. Yeah. Devenoe drove get down steal and, and get hit it. the layup, but it was taken away on the charge. Southwestern keeps the ball. And that happened in Carlisle. It's Chuck Powell bringing it up for Piasaw. Into the corner, it goes to Marshall. Took one away from Barnard. Top to Watson. First and quarter. And Brig is the cutter. Marshall gets it out to Powell again. Powell goes cross court for Coons. He's open, hits from 18. No, he missed it. He shoots from 18 and missed it. Marshall with the rebound. He can't get the roll. And the next rebound is taken by Barnard of North Green. Spartans trail does Southwestern by 5, 41-36, with 4.40 to go in the third quarter. It's Monroe with the ball back to Devineau. Now he gives it up to Hubbard, or to check that, Dustin Roberts. He goes to the baseline, puts up a shot, and gets fouled by Todd Coons. And for Todd Coons, that is... His first foul of the evening. But since Roberts was fouled in the act of shooting, he's going to go to the foul line for two. North Green has trailed in this contest by as many. As 12 points. At one time, it was 33-21 Southwestern. And, and Roberts misses his first free throw attempt. That's the first one he's missed tonight. Up until then, he'd been four for four. Now he's five for six as he hits that second one. Seven points for Roberts. Now it's just a four-point Southwestern lead. As North Green has come back from that 12-point deficit in the second quarter. Powell with the ball for the uh, Piasaw Birds. Looks for help out front. Gets it off to Watson. Now into the game for Southwestern is Rich Lawson in place of Pat Marshall. Also, Matt Boos checking into the game for Coons. It's Chuck Powell now. Is he didn't get in there. From outside, no good. Rebound taken by Monroe. And Southwestern can't buy an outside shot. Their only points in this half have come on a nice uh, give and go. To Todd Gregg, and he got a driving layup off of it. And we've got a, an offensive foul called against North Green. It's going to go against Jason Devineau, his third personal foul. And the second team foul against the Spartans. Southwestern also with two team fouls here in this second half with 3.51 to go in the third quarter. And Southwestern leading 41-37. But again, the Piasaw Birds have been taking mostly outside shots in the third quarter and they're not falling like they were in the first half. They go inside to Grigg. Ball poked away, picked up by Watson. He splits two defenders, a pass low to Marshall, and he's got an easy layup. What? Nice teamwork that time by Southwestern, and Marshall scores for the first time since the first quarter where he's got seven points in the game. 3.30 to play in the third, 43-37 Southwestern. With the ball for North Green is Monroe at the top of the key. Gets it off to Roberts on the left side, now back out top to Devineau. Devineau on the give and go inside to Roberts. He puts it up off the glass and scores, and he's going to be fouled on the play. I think they're going to call it against Matt Booz. The basket does count by Dustin Roberts, and the foul for Southwestern will be charged to Matt Booz, his first team foul number three in the half for the Piasaw Birds, and Coons comes back into the game to replace Matt Booz, and the 5'10 junior comes out for Southwestern and gets a break. The round backboard. Dustin Roberts trying now to complete the last team. time you can have one. Point play for North Green. 1989. The Yep. Ten points now for Dustin Roberts. North Green trails 43-40. And the Spartans have come back from a 12-point deficit. 3.05 to play in the third. Marshall with the ball for Southwestern in the corner. Down low to Greg. He's triple team. Gets it out to Watson for three. Off the rim. No good. North Green with the ball. Hubbard off to Devineau. A long pass. It's knocked out of bounds. A bad pass that time by North Green as Devineau tried to get a little too fancy with it, maybe. And it was off the fingertips of Dustin Roberts. That's the fourth turnover for North Green in the game. Southwestern only has five. 2.45 to play in the third. 43-40 Southwestern. 
Rigg with the ball for Southwestern over to Powell. Now Coons from the corner shoots. Off the rim. No good. Rebound taken by Monroe. Southwestern has scored just four points in this third quarter. A shot from the wing from Hubbard. It's good. 43-42. North Green trails by one. Southwestern with the ball. 220 left to play in the third quarter. Coons with the ball for Southwestern. Now it's out to Grigg. He shoots from 17 and air ball. Watson fights for the rebound, and we've got a foul underneath. And it's going to go against North Green. I don't think so. Zar's back. And Gerald Monroe locked arms as they were fighting for that rebound. He's on his back. And I think the foul is going to go against North Green. But the Spartans have come from way, way back. They were down by 12 points midway through the second quarter. Now they just trail by one, and Southwestern takes a timeout. And so will we. With 2.12 to play in the third quarter, our score is Southwestern 43. As another growing season draws near, the farmer has many critical choices as well. Which chemicals to for home, car, business, and farm are part of the 43-42 South. And whatever your purpose, you'll get a friendly welcome and prompt service at the Citizen State Bank of Shipman. Stan McCaslin back at North Green High School. Stan Hope you've McCaslin. enjoyed our triple header, and we're really getting warmed up now at North Green. 43-42, Southwestern leads by one point with 2-12 to play in the third quarter. That last foul was charged to Steve Hubbard of North Green. His yeah, third he always was fouling out. For the I don't think it was a foul. Come on. I'm taking a break, I think. Uh, this is very hard to do to record. And then I want to coach and help. Over to Coons. Thirty audio, thirty-year-old audio. Now back to Greg. This place is bedlam as both sides uh, fans are cheering and screaming their hearts out. Powell drives in, shoots from 15, no good. An air ball for Powell. And Southwestern gets the rebound. It's Monroe in the lane. He shoots off the rim, no good. Rebound, Watson, we've got a jump ball. He had body foul on him on his shot. Is pointing Southwestern's way. So the Piasaw Birds get a big break on that one. I thought he North got a little body Green, on him. Which only led once in this contest way back in the early stages of the game. <laughs> Was bidding to take the lead for the first time in a while. Southwest with the ball. 140 to play in the third quarter. 43-42. The Piasaw Birds by one. Matt Booz into the game for Southwestern, gets it off to Marshall, now back to Booz. Out top to Grigg, Coons on the wing, Southwestern scored just four points in this quarter, both baskets on layups. Booz from outside off the rim, no good. Watson with the rebound underneath, he scores, he's fouled. And we've got a foul called on Gerald Monroe of North Green. And for Monroe, I think that's his third personal, it could be his fourth, let's see. Oh, they call that an and one. It looks like that's going to be his third personal foul, and he's going to come Down out of the three. game and have a seat next to North Green head coach Charles Stone, and back into the game Papa. now for the Spartans is Scott Howard, a six-two freshman. A tremendously big rebound basket that time for Sean Watson. It's 45-42, Southwestern by three. Watson hits the free throw. 14 points for the Southwestern Junior. And they lead by four. Devon for North Green. Brings the ball up court quickly. Off in the corner now to Roberts. And now it's Howard from the sideline. No good. It bounces twice. And it's Marshall with the rebound. A minute five to go in the third quarter. Now Krufus with the ball for Southwestern. Over Brandon got in. He shoots from the corner and hits. Krufus. 
Todd Coons with 10 points. Mars, and it's 48 to 42. Now a six point Southwestern lead. Hubbard, Hubbard puts up the shot. No good. He's fouled by Marshall. And Howard comes out for North Green. And back in is Gerald Monroe, the 6'5 senior. For Pat Marshall, his second personal foul of the night. Team foul number four for Southwestern. Seconds. With 55 seconds to play in the third, it's 48-42 Southwestern now on a 5-0 run. At one point, Southwestern was up 33-21. They had their lead cut by, to one point by North Green at 43-42 just about a minute ago when Southwestern called timeout. Oh. But since then, the Pius oh, he tips have it in. North Green. By a count of five Missed it. That was a three-pointer. Covered at the line. He'll try and change that. He's got two free throws coming to it. North Green Jr. eyes the bucket and hits. Let's see if he gets the tip in. Nine points for Steve tonight. He'll try and get into double figures and pull his team within four. And he does not do it. Tip up by Monroe. It goes in. Gerald Monroe was Johnny on the spot with that nice tip in. It's 48-45, Southwestern by three. The Piasaw Birds have the ball. It's Kruthis into the corner for Coons, out front to Kruthis. Now Coons from 17 won't take the shot. Kruthis drives in, and we've got a jump ball, and it's going to be North Green's ball on the possession. Good defensive play that time by Jason Debono. And for Southwestern, that's six turnovers in the game. These teams have played their hearts out tonight. It's going to be a shame to see one of them lose it. Hubbard with the we didn't ball have North a, Green. another turnover. To play in the quarter, and North Green might be content to run the clock down and play well, for one shot until the, until the end of the quarter. Barnard into the game for North Green with a pass out front to Devino. Devino has the ball moved away from behind by Kruthis, but he gets it back. 12 seconds on the clock. Hubbard drives to the three-point arc. Now he looks for help as Southwestern extends the defense. Come on. Five seconds to play in the quarter, and we've got a foul called against Chad Kruthis with four seconds to play in the quarter. That's only the second foul for Chad Kruthis, but more importantly, it's the fifth Which you foul see what's for coming Southwestern. Up. It puts North Green into the bonus now. For the remainder of the game, Southwestern's also get going in. to be in the bonus when we get into the fourth quarter. We got four North seconds left. Watch this. At the foul line is Jason Devino. Puts up the free throw. It is good. It bounced around the rim and fell through. 48-46 in favor of Southwestern. A two-point Piasaw Bird lead with just four seconds to go in the third quarter. Look at that. Look at that. Next attempt is up and good by Devino. He's got 11, 48, 47. Quickly down, Southwestern Coons at the buzzer, a layup, it's good! And for the second time tonight, Southwestern has gotten the shot at the buzzer. That's five points. But the Piasaw Birds five points at the buzzer. And instead of being down by two, they lead by three. It is 50 to 47. Southwestern on top of North Green. We'll be back they with break the our press. fourth quarter. After these messages. They break our press in uh, four seconds. It was crazy. And then in the first half, uh, how'd they do it? One, uh, they hit the metal and Grig come down and popped the three-pointer. Had three guys that Grig, Coons, Watson, all averaged over 15 points a game. And then you had Coons and uh, um, some... Somebody else, they, they had a tough team. I could say they were 26 and 0. We had five guys average all double figures Garner, Devino, Roberts, Monroe, Devino, Roberts. Um, trying to think. They trailed by nine at halftime, and on two occasions, Barney. they cut this uh, Southwestern lead down to one point. Southwestern leads by three as we start the fourth quarter. Coons in the corner on the baseline to Watson. He's guarded by... Me and Pops put a lot of time in. We have the video and... 
night and then out on the court on the weekends. tell why this was so hard to match up when I tried matching it with the audio and the video together. Fourth quarter. They got that. Roberts gets it out front now to Powell. Over to Coons. He shoots from the corner. No good. Watson with the rebound. We've got a jump ball. A jump ball, and it looks like the possession arrow is going to give it to North Green. Boy, I'll tell you, that's about three times tonight. Southwestern fans wanted a foul called on North Green. North Green wanted a foul called on Southwestern. Instead, it was a jump ball, and they've all been on rebounds of missed shots. The Spartans have it. Devin O with it. He drives up to the top of the key, starts to set up the North Green offense. Southwestern. Western still in that sticky man-to-man -man defense. Monroe driving against Watson. Spins, turns, shoots, no good. Rebound by Marshall of Southwestern. He runs it out to Powell. Chuck Powell up the court quickly. Doesn't have an advantage. Holds up. He gives it off to Coons in the corner. Now back out on the wing to Powell. Grig outside. Coons from 17 in the corner. No good. Rebound by Watson. A foul on Monroe. His fourth foul. That's a foul on Monroe. Four fouls on Gerald Monroe. And if you're... Uh -huh. what, what, what happened there? For a North Green Spartan, that is not good news. They missed the free throw. That left him in, I think. Fourth quarter. Had to. At the foul line is Sean Watson. I think Sean Western. missed. So far tonight, Sean two for three from the foul line, and he missed this free throw. And Monroe gets a strong rebound for North Green. He gets it off to Devino. 7.05 to play in the game. A three-point Southwestern lead. Nobody scored in this quarter yet. Dustin Roberts gets it over on the wing now to Devino. Back out top to Roberts. Now Roberts gives it off to Monroe. He turns it, it from 12 and hits. Gerald Monroe has eight points. North Green trails by one again. At 50 to 49, Southwestern with the ball, 640 to play in the game. Into the corner it goes for Marshall. He gets it out front. Oh, that to could have been a charge. Foul into Watson. Now back out to Marshall, and it's off the rim. No good. A foul on the back. On Southwestern. On the back. And I believe Dustin Roberts is going to go to the foul line. And if he connects on the one and bonus, North Green will have led for the first time since very, very early in this game. Push back. And it's been a long way back from the Spartans. They trailed at one point, 33 to 21, midway through the second quarter. And not only that, the Spartans had used up three of their allotted four timeouts yeah. in the first half. Yeah. Roberts at the foul line. Shot is good. Justin Roberts has a left. Now he used up three timeouts in the first. Seven points unofficially. We're tied at 50-50. 6.31 to go in the contest. Next shot is good, and North Green leads 51-50. Back come the Piasaw Birds. Powell over to Grigg. Now back out to Powell. Southwestern has scored just 11 points in the second half, and not much has happened from the outside. Powell will correct it. No, it's off the rim. No good. Hubbard with the rebound. Check that. It's Roberts with the rebound for North Green. He gets it off to Devino. 51-50, North Green by one. Six minutes to go. Devino oh, from nice. 15. Yes! Jason Devino Almost stole it from him. Points. 53-50, North Green by three, the biggest lead the Spartans have had all night. Watson for Southwestern with the ball on the wing. Into the corner now for Marshall. Out to Watson for three. Yes, he's tied it up. 53-53. He was unbelievable. And now Southwestern is five out of seven from three-point range. Watson just hit his third. North Green tries to answer. 
Roberts in the corner working on Coons. He gives it off to Hubbard. Hubbard cuts into the lane, puts it up for 10 and hits. What a basketball game we're seeing. That was Hubbard. 55-53, North Green leads by two, 5-10 to play in the game. Southwestern with the ball. Powell over to Watson at the top of the key. Chuck Powell with it now. Back over to Watson. Inside for Greg. He shoots from 12. Off the rim. Twice. No good. Coons the rebound. He can't get it. The next one. Oh, my. Up. No good, but he's oh my. Steve Hubbard. And Steve Hubbard just picked up his fourth personal foul. So Hubbard's got four. Monroe has four for uh, North Green. For Southwestern, Powell and Grigg both have three. Big free throws coming up here for Pat Marshall. He's been fairly quiet since the first quarter. He never scored in the second, and he had two points. Marshall was one of their leading scorers. 4.58 to play in the yeah, game. Yeah, it was 15 or more. 53. North Green leads Southwestern by two. And Pat Marshall's at the foul line for the Southwestern Piasaw Birds. He's going to get two free throws and two opportunities to at least pull his team within one. Free throw on the way for the Southwestern senior is perfect. Marshall hits the clutch free throw, 55-54. Now Southwestern will go for the tie. Got it. Nine points for Marshall. 55 all with 4.55 to play in the game. Devineau in the backcourt for North Green. Southwestern pressures. Long pass to Monroe. A touch pass to Barnard. He missed the layup, but he was fouled by Sean Watson. We broke that press quick. And for Watson, that's his second foul of the night. And two free throws coming up for Craig Barnard of North Green. Well, that only took about seven or eight seconds off the clock. There's 4.48 to play in the game. And Barnard's at the foul line. Again, these teams came into tonight's contest with a combined one-loss record of 50 and 4. Southwestern unbeaten, 26 and 0. North Green, an exceptional 24 and 4. By the way, that sets a record for North Green. Those 24 victories are the most in school history as Barnard hits the first free throw. He's got 12 on the night, 56-55. Next toss, good. 13 points for Barnard, 57-55. Southwestern trails, but the Piasaw Birds have the ball. Marshall in the corner, out front to Watson. He gets it back to Marshall. 4.30 to play in the game. Coons over to Powell, out top to Watson. Now Chuck Powell, Watson at the top of the key. Devineau all over him. They go inside for Grigg, and Grigg gets fouled by Jason Devineau. Uh. Call that a foul. And for Jason Devineau, that is his fourth foul. So North Green has four players, or rather three players, with four fouls on him. Southwestern just has two players with three oh, fouls. Oh, come on. So Southwestern, they all they the, have to do is cash in missed. on their free throws, and they could be all right by the time this thing is over, but you never know. Greg at the foul line, in and out, no good, but the rebound comes off to Marshall. Marshall gets fouled. By uh, Steve Hubbard, and if it's if it's on Hubbard, he's out of the game. What a big call by Ken Thaxton as Steve Hubbard. I thought it was the other way. Personal foul. He's out of the game with 11 points. And the Southwestern. I thought they were going to call it on the other way. And so long as Steve Hubbard comes out and shakes hands with Pat Marshall, Sean Watson, and Chuck Powell. Good sportsmanship on the part. Of the North Green Junior, and he gets a standing O from the hometown fans clad in their blue and white. And Pat Marshall is at the foul line as Southwestern now has a chance to tie it once again. Marshall was here moments ago, about 30 seconds to be exact, and he hit two free throws to tie it up at 55. North Green went in front 57-55, thanks to two free throws by... Craig Barnard, and now Marshall's back again, but Watson gets the rebound on the miss, puts it up, no good. Coons fights for the ball, he can't get it, Marshall has it for Southwestern. They get Over a rebound. Watson. Now Coons with it, in Miss the corner. Leia. Double team, down low to Marshall. He kicks it out to Grigg, in the corner for Powell. Fakes, drives the baseline, back out to Grigg. Watson, now Marshall in the corner. North Green playing excellent defense. 
Four minutes to go in the game. 57-55, North Green by two. Marshall out to Powell. Now over to Watson. They swing it over on the other side to Coons. Back over to Watson. Now it's Powell at the top of the key. Watson at the wing. Coons pops from 17. No good. Rebound. Greg! Southwest got the rebound. An excellent job of rebounding, and North Green's doing a good job defensively. Marshall steps in with the layup, missed. Greg, the rebound, no Spot good. We blocked him. No foul call, but that was on Sean Watson. My goodness, what a bunch of activity. Todd Greg was sandwiched between three North Green players. He went up for the shot. The officials ruled it was a clean block. It was. And then when, and then when off, they tip the ball out towards the front, uh, front court, Sean Watson got called for the foul against Josh Smith. For Smith, the 5'10 senior who came in to replace Steve Hubbard. This is his first trip to the foul line, and it couldn't have come at a bigger time. 3.31 to play, 57-55 in favor of North Green. And the Spartans looking to expand their lead. The biggest lead the Spartans have had tonight has been three I could goals. hardly film it. I could hardly film it. But these are big free throws for a player who hasn't been in that much. Just got that in. Being Josh Smitty. Smith. He's in to replace Steve Hubbard, who just fouled out with 11 points. The free throw bounces in. Barely. Oh, that Every, was big. Every was big. That was huge. That's all we needed. 55. One point. 12 o'clock, WSMI FM. The oh, bonus. It is in and out, no good. Marshall with the rebound for Southwestern. Back come the bias off. Must have been on tape delay. To play. 58 55, unbeaten Southwestern on the ropes at North Green. It's Powell with the ball. He thinks about shooting a three pointer, won't take it. Gets it off in the corner to Marshall. Now to Powell, over to Coons. Powell pops from three point range off the rim, no good. And a foul on Watson as he crashed into Gerald Monroe trying to get the rebound. For Watson, that is his fourth personal foul. And things are looking more and more like they're going North Green's way as this game winds down. The Spartans have outscored Southwestern 28 to 15. We're taking yeah. 28 to 16 in this second half, and we've got a timeout on the floor called by Daryl Bird, the head coach of I needed one too. 307 to play in this contest, and it's 58-55, North Green by three. We'll be back to Whitehall after the words from our sponsors. We shot 29% when we played them. And we shot like 20, 29, 30% when we played uh, Route, who was ranked third in the state. Route was ranked third, and Southwestern was ranked number one. Quincy Notre Dame, we had to take them on. They were, people thought they would go all the way. And then Carlisle. Finally get the uh, when we finally get stake. But this is the first time I've been able to match up this uh sound with the uh, radio. The closest Southwestern has come to losing a basketball game this year was early back in December when they had to come from behind to beat Bunker Hill at Bunker Hill in a regular season contest, 69-68. And then last Friday, they had a tough scrap with the Carlinville Cavaliers of Mike Kelly, who put up a gallon That's who we had to beat short, to get into this game. They gave us the a heck of a game. Is in and out, no good by Dustin Roberts. Yeah, I'm going. I gotta wait till it catches up. Okay, Dustin shooting. That was a big miss for North Green. As Roberts missed the free throw. Chad Kruthis into the game for Southwestern, replacing Chuck Powell. Watson out front with the ball. He's got four fouls. Monroe has four for North Green. 
Kruthis over to Coons. 58-55, Spartans lead Piasaw by three. 2.40 to play. Kruthis from three-point range, no good. Watson goes up and he's fouled on the rebound attempt. Josh Smith will be called for the foul, his second of the game. The fuck we blocked Sean everything. Watson steps up to the foul line for two very big free throws. I don't know. Seems like our score has been stuck on... Looks like we got clean there. 55 for the longest time. As both teams have gone a little cold from the field here in the fourth quarter. Watson hits the first free throw. He had one more coming to him. It was not a bonus situation. 58-56, North Green by two. Next free throw, good by Watson. 16 points for Watson. Up by one. 57, Spartans over the Piasaw Birds by one. 2.30 to play in the game. Smith with the ball, double team, gets it into Monroe. Monroe drives baseline, puts it up from 15 and hits. Yeah. What a tremendous shot by Gerald Monroe. He's got 10. It's 60 57. Two minutes to play in the game. Watson on the baseline. He tries to answer. Can't do it. Out of no. It's knocked away. Watson picks it up. Gives to Greg. He puts it up. He's fouled. And the foul is on Josh Smith. The Southwestern fans want an intentional foul, meaning they would get the ball back. Two hey. free throws coming to Todd Not Greg. Not going to get an intentional. As Josh Smith practically gave him a bear hug following the dish from Watson underneath, but they're not going to call an intentional foul. It's just a regular two-shot foul for Todd Grigg, and his free throw is good. Grigg has had a crazy night from the foul line. He's three out of six. 2.08 to play in the game. His next toss, good. Make it four out of seven. He's got 13, 60, 59, North Green by one. Jason Devineau with the ball for the Spartans. Gets it over to Roberts. Now into... Oh, Carter. what a pass. Monroe and he hits and he's fouled by Watson. If it's on Watson, it's his fifth. If it's on Marshall, it's just his third. The basket counts and North Green goes up by three. Let's check out the Beautiful foul. Pass. It looks like it's going to be called against Krufus. Boy, Watson was awfully close in the area of that play. I thought that foul oh, may have been called on Sean. Instead, it's Chad Krufus. And Gerald Monroe, who has 12 points, is going to try and complete the oh. three-point play off the rim. Bounces twice. Marshall the rebound for Southwestern. And the Piasaw Birds could still tie things up with a three-point shot. 1.45 to play in the game. North Green by three. Coons over to Krufus. North Green extending its defense. They don't want to get beat from three-point land. Marshall over to Watson, a quick shot from three, in and out, no good. Rebound by Marshall, down low, up and in. Nice rebounding by Southwestern this quarter. Marshall scores, he's got 11, 62-61. Devineau over to Roberts, down oh, low, no. loses control, back out though. Nice save by Monroe as he gets it in. Now he's there got it is again. underneath, no good. Southwestern rebounds. A reverse layup was missed by Gerald Monroe after he did a great job to save the ball from going out of bounds. But he missed, and Southwestern has the ball. Trailing by one with a minute to play. Kruthus to Coons, back to Kruthus, over to Watson at the top of the key. And then uh -oh. Watson wanted to call a timeout. He wasn't looking, and Devino stole the ball for North Green. He missed the layup. Watson gets the rebound. Now he calls timeout. Oh, what a weird turn of events there. Chad Krufus threw the ball to Sean Watson, who wanted the official's attention to call a timeout. The invisible Kruthus pass. threw him the ball. Watson wasn't looking. Jason Devino picked it up, raced down he court for North Green. He put he up a two layup layups. that fell off the rim. Watson got the it's rebound, and then he called timeout. Southwestern has two left in the game. And North Green only has one. But again, Coach Charles Stone of the Spartans called all three of their three of their four timeouts rather back in the first half. Yeah. So we've got still 49 got one left. seconds to play in the game. 62 to 61. North Green leads this baby by one point. But the Piasaw Birds have the ball. 
It'll be interesting to see what kind of strategy Daryl Burt decides to go with. Fans for both sides, the North Green fans in blue and white, and the green and gold Southwestern fans start to come to their feet. This is what high school basketball is all about, folks. Two excellent teams. You hate to see one of them lose, but it just wouldn't be the state tournament if you didn't have a single elimination affair like this. And believe you me, the winner of this game is really going to get a test when they go to Petersburg on Wednesday night. The winner wow. of this game will play either Jacksonville route or New Berlin. And the route was number if two or three the in the state. And the pundits of basketball in this area, they would have to say hands down, it's going to be route. The Rockets have had a super season. Southwest 27 and two. Watson gets it across the line, 40 seconds to play. Cruth is out front with it, over to Coons. Caught down to 35. North Green now playing a uh, zone defense still. They're in a 2-3 zone. Now they change it to a 3-2 zone. Kruthis over to Coons. 25 seconds. Out front to Kruthis. Over to Watson. Southwestern is going to hold for one. It's stolen away by Josh Smith of North Green. He goes down for the layup. Missed it. Foul called on Kruthis. What a big steal by Josh Smith of North Green. Another layup. That's three layups in a row. For Southwestern, that is their eighth turnover of the game, and turnovers have not three been a layups, problem for either minutes. of these clubs. Four turnovers the whole they game. They played very sound basketball. Just like we were expecting, this game has turned out to be all that we hoped for and more. With 17 seconds to go in the game, Southwestern takes its third time out of the night, and we'll take a break, too. Again, our score is 62 to 61 north green leads southwestern trying to freeze him again and it does work because uh they come out of the timeout and he misses the free throw 17 se 17 seconds left we're up one and i don't know where it came out of but gerald sees that the basket is missed and does something that he wasn't supposed to do. North Green High School. Gerald comes up and puts the press on. He must not like basketball. This has just been a tremendous contest from the word go. 17 seconds left to play in the contest. And North Green's going to have a two-shot foul coming up now for Josh Smith, the 5'10 senior guard who came in and replaced Steve Hubbard after Hubbard fouled out. So far tonight, Smith has one point. He's one out of two from the foul line, and he stole the ball on the pass from Krufus he as he tried to go to Watson or Grigg at the top of the key for Southwestern just moments ago. And he got fouled by Kruthis in the process. The free throw off the front of the rim. No good. Yeah, we're on. We're 17 seconds. We're up one. He misses it off the free throw. No good. So that's where I'm going to start. Gerald comes out of nowhere. And had he not put two or three more seconds for them to get down, I think they would have had time to make it. Sorry. Okay. This is a free throw. Good. Chad Kruthis now has four fouls for Southwestern, and he's staying in the game. Also with four fouls is Sean Watson. Josh Smith on the missed free throw. It's still 62-61 North Green. And Smith will get the second attempt. So the worst Southwestern could come out of this is a two-point deficit. He missed it again. The rebound to Pat Marshall. 15 seconds to go. Kruthis with the ball. Back to Watson with 12, 10. Watson gets it in the front court. Like a travel. After Kruthis. Now Griggs. Six seconds. Kruthis with five. He gets it off to Coons at the top of the key. Watson. One. The shot is no good. The shot would have counted had it gone in, but it didn't. And Southwestern has lost for the first time to this season, 62 to 61. I couldn't. I couldn't hardly record. The 
court and well, I couldn't run out there and hug everybody. Their team has just completed just... a dream season. They've won their own regional. They've beaten the number one team in the state in many people's eyes. And they have handed the Piasaw Birds their first loss of the year. And we said it at uh, the beginning of the show, and we alluded to it during this broadcast. It is tough to see one of these two teams lose here tonight. And the Southwestern fans just can't believe it. They have Gerald had a comes up right there. Season, and then stops him right there. Then it has to get back, all the way back. North Green Spartans. North Green we put the half-court press on. 42-32. In the second half, and they win this ball game. I think that speaks to right there. As Watson shot from three point land would not fall, they only needed a two. But again, give credit to the Spartans, they extended their defense in the second half. South half court pressure, not by an outside shot. Most of the points they got were either from the foul line or on easy layups down low. Dan Diz, that Diz. Southwestern's credit, though, they did an exceptional job of rebounding in the second half. But even then, they still couldn't convert on their second and third chances. We'll be back to the wrap up hardly. of tonight's scintillating game. Our final score again, North Green 62 and Southwestern 61. We'll be back after this. Further oil company of Medora. I couldn't hardly even breathe. Look at it. Look at that. It's swamped. The whole place was swamped. I couldn't get out of there. I was so exhausted. I didn't get to celebrate or hug anybody hardly. I should have been I should have been in the pictures. I did get in in one picture when everybody waved me over. Um at the super sectional. But that's just that was, and I got it to match up with the uh, the announcers who did a great job. Um, dream season, quite a bit. That was a tough one for Southwestern. Hey, Izzy Izzyhausen was on that team. Him and uh, Watson was going to the Mets. And they thought they uh, were going to go all the way in basketball, too. Start of the Giant Killers. A few more in us. And Fleming Oil Company of Jersey. Tonight's high school basketball training contest as North Green came from 12 points down midway through the second quarter and a nine-point halftime deficit to upset the Piasaw Birds of Southwestern, who were seated number one in this regional, ranked number I'm one in the Associated State. Press Bowl, number five in the United Press Bowl in Class A, the final 62 to 61. And North Green well, who was put number together one? a solid team effort, and they didn't quit after one of their team Carlisle leaders, Steve Hubbard, Ralph? fouled out early in the fourth quarter. Checking the unofficial statistics for tonight's game, scoring for... North Green, Jason Devano had 13 points, as did Craig Barnard. 12 points apiece for Dustin Roberts and Gerald Monroe. 11 for Steve Hubbard and 1 for Josh Smith. So North Green put 5 players into double figures. For Southwestern, they had a solid performance by 4 of their five uh, starting 5 this evening. As they had unofficially 4 players in double figures. 16 for Sean Watson, 14 for Todd Grigg. 13 scored by Pat Marshall, 12 by Todd Koontz, and three apiece for Chuck Powell and Matt Booz. Again, unofficially, those were the scores for Southwestern, who hit 18 of 24. They didn't shoot very good. That was our, our strategy. That's one of my pictures. Well, thanks for uh, tuning in, and I'm glad I got this done. I'm trying to get a book written on the whole entire event, but uh, I had had a horrible accident and I'm not even going to get in, go into it, but it's taken me five years to walk again. So it's been a tough, tough trip to get this done and get the book written. But this is part of uh, some of the story. Signing out. Channel 2 Charlie would say. <laughs>